cross-origin resource sharing, or better known as CAUSE, is a technique to tell the browser whether a website or application can fetch resources from a different domain or not. A lot of modern day web browsers actually block CAUSE requests based on security reasons. Sometimes this can pose a real annoyance for web developers or app developers who are currently testing or developing programs. Sometimes it's actually better to have CAUSE enabled to allow you to do this. The CAUSE Unblock extension allows you to enable CAUSE through your browser even if your browser is blocking it by default. To go ahead and start using this extension, we first need to add it to our browser. After this has been added to our browser, we can then go ahead and pin it to the toolbar. So we go ahead and left click up here and select the cause unblock, clicking the pin option. This then shows inside our browser tab. We can then right click this and we can click on test cause to demonstrate how this works. So first of all, the cause unblocker is currently disabled because it isn't being lit up inside the browser toolbar. It's currently in grayscale. So when we go ahead and test all the different cause options, we can see that they're all currently being blocked by my browser as demonstrated here with all the options, the crosses and the red text. So we can start and go ahead and enable this by clicking with the left click. We can now see the C has changed to orange and this lets us know that the extension is working on the default settings. And the default settings now now allow all the different variations of the cause information. As we see here, they're all being allowed. Now this extension actually allows us to tailor this further. So what we go ahead and do is we right click and we see the different options. So we can allow to enable access to control allow origin, as well as the credentials, as well as different uh, exposure of headers. So for example, if we click here to take off the credentials, and then we go ahead and try the options, we can see that some options are working and others such as the fetch get credentials are no longer working. Turn this back on. We also then have other options here, such as enabling it, which disables all the different variations of this. As well as the allow exposed headers. This extension also has the extra options. So what we can do here is we can actually specify things such as allowing the put header, but not the options or the delete in the patch, etc. So if we go ahead and unselect delete, and we go through this list, we can see it's allowing all the different variations here, apart from delete, which is now being blocked. This is an incredibly simple extension to use, but it's incredibly helpful, especially when we're developing um, an app or a website. So be able to have this functionality is really easy for any developer. Now you may also want to look to use this inside the incognito mode. And to do this, you simply select, select the options here, click on manage extensions. And then where it says allow in incognito, simply select this option. And this then allows the extension to be used in the incognito version of your browser, as well as the standard version. By default, incognito mode doesn't usually allow um, extensions to be enabled unless you specify that. So that's important, especially if you're looking to test websites without any caching, or as a brand new user, you definitely want to make sure that's enabled. And again, to simply turn this on or off, we simply click. 